Good morning, all. Good morning, Father. My reflection will be taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem named Emmaus. And they were conversing. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looked downcast. One of them named Cleopas said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deeds and words before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from among our group, however, have outstanded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going no on he was going on further. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them, and it happened that while, they, while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, we are not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us. So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, in this our Gospel passage, as we heard that two of Jesus' disciples, they were going to, they were on their way to Emmaus. However, they did not recognize Jesus until the breaking of the bread. We might ask, why? Why didn't they recognize Jesus? I think there are so many reasons they gave. Probably because they were so much disappointed, shattered, and frustrated about the death of Jesus that they, they did not recognize Jesus. And one other reason was because, probably, because, uh, because of their lack of faith in what, in the teaching of the scripture, in what the prophets spoke about Jesus, and even in what Jesus himself taught, that the Son of Man will suffer before entering into his glory. One other reason, because their mind were so much obstructed and hindered, that 
they did not recognize Jesus until the breaking of the bread. My friends in Christ, how about us? Often we behave like these disciples. Often do we always recognize Jesus at the Holy Eucharist, at the breaking of bread? Sometimes we do not because of the problems of life when they were when they are so when when we feel so overwhelmed by life challenges, difficulties, we might find it very we are finding it difficult to recognize Jesus. And also maybe because of lack of our lack of faith. As Christians, we should be people of faith. We should live and walk by faith. We should always make uh, make a leap of faith daily. Always because but we, we should always live by faith and not by sight. So if we are people of faith, we should all we will always recognize Jesus even in the midst of our suffering. Even if for difficulties of life, faith will be the only thing that will keep us moving. And also may we ask the good Lord to always help us and give us the spiritual insight, the spiritual awareness to always feel his presence 24-7, wherever we are. Even in ordinary events of life, not only in the breaking of the bread, may we most importantly be people of faith as we continue to deepen our faith and relationship in God. The good Lord will continue to enlighten our minds. May the good Lord bless us as we journey through faith. Amen. Amen.